Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. This, <laughs> this <laughs> box uh, that has this tape on it only ever comes from one company. And that company is Kai USA. So I'm very excited to see what's in here. I have no idea. Uh, very excited to see what they sent me. Thank you so much to Kai USA for uh, sending these in. Thanks to my uh, patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Most of you know, who's Kai USA? Kershaw ZT. Um, if you didn't know, that's who that is. They always send the exact same box. It's been this way since the first knife they sent me something like five years ago. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, <laughs> the packing thing has my, uh, my my information on it, so I don't want to need to be broadcasting that to the world. And what do we have? Not one, but two. Two Kershaws. Okay, so we got a little guy and we got a little bit of a wider guy here. Let's take a look at the packing slip. And it doesn't say, okay. How about on the outside of the box? Oh, it's automatic. Ah, oh, and then new, uh, this is a brand new launch model. Okay. That's going to be kind of a little guy. The launch 18. Definitely on the skinnier side. Okay. Not, not super duper small. Huge fan of the launch line. Number one. USA, very cool. Number two, really high quality for the money. I mean, they are killing it in this. If you didn't know, for American automatic knives, they don't have competition at, at the price point they're at. ProTech is, they're in another price point. Kershaw is king of the mountain at this price point, hands down. Yeah, oh, beautiful, beautiful action. And we have, uh, let's see here, CPM 154, which is one of my favorite steels of all time. We have a captive pivot. We have almost like a concrete aluminum, which actually I think looks really good. This is pretty cool. Um, so the launch series has a ton of full-size knives. So I think actually out of everything that Kershaw does, I think where they do the best is the launch line. I mean, the variety that they have in the designs that they offer in the materials that they're offering uh, for the quality they're offering, I mean, honestly, I, I think it's great. They've got big ones, they've got small ones, they've got skinny ones, fat ones, right? Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, they've got it. This is pretty cool. We have a uh, thin, fully flat ground blade that's, I guess we're going to call this a drop point, modified drop point, whatever you want to call it. Nice cutting geometry. This is an in-house design, which is what that symbol means right there. Okay, I would say uh, the button's in a good spot. The power feels fantastic. The spring feels great. The look of it's great. We've got ambi clip mounting position. So lefties, you can still enjoy this. Uh, the pocket clip, a little bit of a sharp build, but I've always enjoyed this style of clip. Honestly, pretty nice, right? They're not going too wacky with the aesthetic. Some of the past launch models have been a little bit wacky and some people like that, right? But this is good looking and still has style without being too out there. I like the nice pivot collar, which is, let's see if it's, is it finished just slightly different? It's really about the same. I think the light's just catching it different um, because of the way that it's shaped. But yeah, good looking. Very nice. Okay. And then what do we have here? We have another. We have the Launch 16. Don't, haven't I already looked at this? Yeah, that's the one that I like really liked, right? Oh, is it? Green, ooh, it's, uh, we got <laughs> we got an OD green. Oh boy, it's not so right in. Yes, yes. Oh, that's so great. That's not what I was expecting at all. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. Ah, oh, Kershaw listened. They listened. Oh, it's so good. That's so good. This is so good. <laughs> yes. This is officially, hold on, hold on. What do we got here? CPM M4. This is the best US side opening automatic for the money on 
Earth, officially. I can say that now. I said it about the 16. I said the only thing that's really holding them, and it's still the best, but it's serrated. And if you like serrations, then just buy the one with ser serrations. But everybody has been demanding, screaming, pleading, begging for a non-serrated version of this knife. And they did it. Oh, my gosh. This is so... I can't tell. I have so many good things to say about this knife. You haven't, um, if you haven't watched my review on this, go watch my review. I, I think, honestly, I think it was almost a 30 minute video. I love essentially everything about this knife. It's, it's such a meaty, uh, powerful, aggressive knife without being overly cumbersome, right? You get USA, you get the Kershaw USA quality, you get functional grips and a stylish way of laying them in with, and texturing the aluminum around it, right? You get great blade geometry, still tough M4 steel. I mean, who doesn't love M4 unless you work in the ocean? Um, M4 is great as long as it's coated, right? Automatic, beautiful. And it's a full-size knife. I mean, this is, I, I want to say it's like eight and a quarter. I'm so excited. I was just like, oh, cool. They made a green one. Like, it's definitely still going to be, I literally, my brain, there was, it was like 99.9% .9 of my brain was like, it's going to be serrated. I just didn't expect it to be non-serrated. Eight and a quarter inches with... I think it's three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. You could say 3.65 inches of blade if you go all the way down here. Uh, cutting edge is about 3.35. Listen, I don't want to take any fire away from this guy. I don't want to steal any thunder from this guy because that's a cool model. Um, this is excellent. This is excellent. And the color is cool too. I love the OD green aluminum mixed with the black. God, that is good. Um, in my opinion... This knife has, um, it has no challengers, not at this price point. The, the Launch 16 has no challengers. Uh, everything that, and, and listen, I'm not doing a ProTech versus Kershaw upload or anything like that. ProTech is a wonderful company. They make awesome stuff. But again, they're at a different price point. Sometimes $100 over what we're looking at for Kershaw here. So USA automatic right? well, people who can't carry automatic knives and obviously this isn't going to be a video for you but man that is so cool now some people still don't like the tanto some people would prefer a drop point right and that's fine that's blade shape preference um but all the functionality you could want is here it, i mean I, honestly i i don't think that there's at this point i don't think that there's anything about this knife that i would change um this is spectacular the grip on this thing is great the ergonomics are great it looks like it might be a knife that would be kind of aggressive to hang on to i i can't i can't stress this enough it isn't this is a very very comfortable knife to hang on to because of how they've chamfered the edges right there are so many chamfer lines all the way around none of the jimping is aggressive they have knocked down all corners even where it looks sharp it's not God, this is wonderful. And lefty clip mounting position. <laughs> oh, boy. That's going to make a lot of people happy. Listen, if you don't like Tantos, you can't carry autos, or you just don't like green and black, it won't be for you. But to me, that was the one thing, the serrations, that, because the, the, the standard version of the Launch 16 was serrated only. They did not have a plain edge. I didn't, there was no confirmation that they were doing a version, at least not that I saw, that they were doing a, a non-serrated version. So that was the one thing that was holding it back for me. Because I like, like many of you, I, I prefer a, a clean edge, a straight edge, right? It's much easier to maintain and sharpen over time. Um, and it's just, I, I don't cut anything on a day-to-day -day basis that requires serrations. Most people don't. Uh, those of you who need serrations, you are the minority. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. You're the minority, Right. Um, that's just how it is. They make some things a little bit easier to cut and are only required for a few th specific things, right? Um, but the vast majority of people can get by just fine uh, with a, a plain edge. And the plain edge over time, maintaining it, just it just makes their lives easier. Um, so it's, it's really fantastic for all the people who love this knife but didn't want serrations. But again, if you like serrations, you can just continue to like what you like. I'm just really happy that we finally have a version of, uh, of this that's non-serrated. <laughs> Man, I love being surprised. Thank you, Kai Kershaw, thank you. Excellent.
so much fun. These will be linked in the description, obviously. Make sure you check them out. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.